Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an Electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, my name is David. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Now, today we are talking about timer and we want to know this function of the timer. So, this timer I'm holding in my hands, it serves two purposes, on delay and off delay, okay? So, it means it can either delay uh, to switch on the circuit or delay to switch off the circuit. So it, it depends on really what you want to use it for, okay? So most timers, they have even more functions, okay? But this one has only two functions. So let us just, you know, uh, see what it has. So first of all, you have to know that this particular timer, if you ever encountered, it has, it can use two source of power. It can use AC 240, can also use DC 24 volts, okay? And uh, it has got uh, three contacts, okay? Uh, three contacts. So it has A1 and the A2 uh, this side, which across it you connect AC, and then the A3 where your DC source go, okay? So we can see that a little quick. So. Alright, so you have your A1 here, and then you have your A2 right here. Now, it has uh, another contact, which is your A3, okay? A3. Now, when you're connecting this kind of timer, uh, these two contacts here, this is A1 and A2, that's your, where your AC uh, goes, okay? So you have your L here, and then you have your neutral here, okay? Now, uh, here, This will be your 240. That will be your 240 uh, volts, okay? Now, when you're using it on 24 uh, DC, okay? If you're using it on 24 DC, now this, will now be your positive, Okay, and then you have this A2 will be now your, your negative, okay? So, this, that's how you connect uh, power. So, in case you have, uh, and this is 24, four DC. So, this is 24 DC, you connect across here and here okay then if you have ac you know it's a live and neutral a1 and a2 okay all right so uh that's how you first that's how you connect your power now let's see uh how the contacts because you have only three contacts here so you have number 15 16 and 18 Number 15 is common, 16 to 15 is closed, and 15 to 18 is open. Uh, let's see that. So, you have contacts here, okay? You have contacts right here. So, we are going to have... Okay. So, this is number 15. This one is your common. Okay. 
that is common. Then you have here number 18, uh, which is NO. Then you have number 16, which is NC. Okay? And here is... Okay? So, uh, here... Number 15 will drink the juice right here. And now you decide where you want the juice to come out from. Is it from here or from here? Okay? So, if you want to delay uh, your circuit to come on. For example, uh, in a changeover switch, what we do is normally... Uh, we delay our contactor to come in, especially if we, if this timer we put it on the side of, uh, if we put it on the side of uh, the gen contactor. Normally, when the gen gets a signal and it starts, we want to delay the gen. Okay, so that means that we are going to to use normally open contact. Okay, so uh, the contactor will energize through here. So meaning that. He, the gen will, after the gen has attained its maximum speed, everything, all the parameters are okay, then this guy will close here, such that the contactor can now come in, okay? Because remember, on the gen, already we have, you know, voltage there. We only wanted the, every, uh, all the parameters in the voltage to be, you know, uh, okay, before we can close. So you see now we are delaying to switch on, okay? Now, Again, we have, we have off, uh, that this is on delay, then we have off delay, okay? We have off delay. Now, also, uh, what happens is in mo most cases, when you want to do uh, off delay, it means that uh, the circuit is already running, okay? The circuit is already running, but you, you give a command to delay some seconds to go off. Okay, you understand? Okay, so it depends normally uh, what you really want to, you know, to use the circuit for. Okay, so this is what happens here. Now, that means that in your circuit, you really already understand uh, how you want your, your, your current to, to move. Okay, but you encounter this this kind of timer just to know that you have the uh, common 18 and 16 so you you will of course want the time here is the delay okay so you want how much time you want to delay for the action to be taken for the contact to be closed or for the contact to be opened okay so it it depends here the circuit is engaged but how much time you want to delay for it to be disconnected here it is open how much time you want to delay for the circuit to be closed okay all right so uh basically that's what happens with the this on delay of delay timers okay uh, like I always say, in uh, in controls, you'll have to understand all the components that goes into it and how it works. Okay, so if you have a project, you know what you want to achieve, what do you want a project to do, and so what are you going to use, and how do you want to use it. Okay, yeah, that's how things works. So. I'm really glad that uh, you've been on this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, please feel free to put it in the comment uh, section below. You go and write, I'll, you know, give the feedback. If you have any suggestion on any kind of video uh, you want us to bring, feel free to do that also. Okay. So thank you very much. Until next time, I'm out.